Hello, we're back in Pleasant View, and today we're moving back to the Copper family and Ivy Copper specifically. And she lives in this condo over here. So it's morning in the household, and uh, similarly to the previous household, these guys are also out of bed <laughs> because I must have messed around with my mods. So uh, let's just start by dropping a little Riley into his crib and uh, Ivy you can relax on the bed. It looks like they might have been woohooing the night before because they're in their underwear. There we go. So we have the little baby's stuff cramped into this um, bedroom together with his parents. And uh, then we have this other bedroom that's of course left alone. Um, Ivy hasn't wanted to um, change anything around or touch this room uh, since Hazel left um, her um, daughter together with Don Lothario. And in the previous episode, Ivy had a very serious conversation with Don about um, the future that she wants and uh, the fact that she needs to uh, commit herself to Jihoon, her new fiancé. Even they got engaged um, yesterday. It is so they broke it off. They uh, they're not together anymore. And um, what I wanted to do to make this uh, actually matter in the game was to um, have them just be friends. And um, I'm going to just teleport Don in quickly because I actually forgot to do that in uh, the previous time I played. So I'm just going to summon him and uh, yeah, let's just, um, let's just move both of them downstairs um, and then uh, I'm just going to, um, yeah, have Ivy ask to just be friends and that should actually finish their uh, very long term relationship for good um, or well for now anyway. <laughs> You never know what happens in the future, of course, but yeah, they're not um, in love or they don't have a crush anymore. And um, Ivy can focus completely on Jihoon, so that's what I wanted. So I'm going to um, clear off Dawn again. And Ivy can go back upstairs into her bedroom. So, of course, uh, yesterday Ivy not only got engaged to Jihoon and he moved in, she also gave birth to their son, Riley. So um, she has had some pretty good things happen in her life recently. But of course, it's all been shadowed by the fact that her daughter has left her home on bad terms and has refused to come back. So um, even though Ivy has been very happy for different reasons um, because of all the good things and the, all the changes in her life, she has also been feeling really down. And um, she's tried to um, get Hazel to talk to her and to hash things out and make amends. But since her daughter has refused to even speak to her, it's been very difficult to get anywhere. And um, she's just escaped to her father's house and that's where she's living right now. So that's what's occupying Ivy's mind. And uh, I bet that she wants to immerse herself in her job again. Now that she's had her child, uh, her lifetime wish is after all to reach the top of her career. Uh, not that I'm going to push for that, but that tells me that um, she's really in love with her job. She loves um, both being a soccer player She's working as a, an all-star, but also that she um, loves working with the um, children's soccer club. As I mentioned in the previous episode, I have remodeled the clubs a little bit. And um, the reason for that is that I want the days that the clubs take place to actually match with um, her schedule as well as Nina's schedule. So... She has uh, Tuesdays and Wednesdays off, actually, from her job. So um, what I've scheduled is that she's not going to host the soccer club today at all. Uh, she's going to have uh, the club instead in the weekends. So um, 
yeah, we're not going to see that today. But um, yeah, tomorrow is the next time it will happen. On the other hand, uh, Jihoon is someone who's currently working as an employee at uh, Goopy Jill's Carbo's restaurant and he's the chef. But my idea for him, um, yeah, his lifetime wish is just to max out all seven skills. Um, but I think that Jihoon is someone who's been working really, really hard on a goal his whole life. And um, he's been saving up money ever since he was young and got this uh, wish that he wants to start up his own bar, his own pub in town. And I think that now that he's uh, like moved in here and of course he's had to sell his uh, previous house, I guess he must have lived in a house somewhere and um, yeah, changed his life around so much. I think that he thinks that the time has come. He's also getting up in age. He um, has 11 days left of his adult life and then he'll be an elder. So I think that now is the time to uh, act really. And um, I don't know if you recall, but when he moved in to this household, he only brought with him a thousand simoleons. For someone who's this um, old, who's lived a life and who's been uh, working to um, earn money and save up, to me it doesn't make sense at all that he only brought that little into the household, uh, taking also into account that he must have sold his house. So... I feel very comfortable with actually giving him a mother load of money. There, so they have uh, 50,000 extra simoleons that we can spend on his business because I feel like, yeah, that's something that he can have saved. If he will have to spend even more money on it, I will make him take out a loan for it, but... I'm going to say that that's actually the money that he brought into the household. It makes more sense. And uh, looking at him like this, I can see that he's uh, missing body hair. So I'm going to <laughs> fix that. Yeah, it's quite a lot, but I think it suits him. So let's keep that. So yeah, um, what I need to do now is to make sure that there is actually a, um, a community lot for him to buy. So that's something that I'm going to have to build a nice pub. And um, I also need to uh, have him resign from his job <laughs> at the restaurant. And of course, Goop is going to be in trouble because now he's not going to have a chef <laughs> anymore. Um, so that's something that I'm going to have to look into when I play Goopy next as well. But Jihoon needs to focus on his dream, his life goal. And uh, this is it. So... Oh, it doesn't have a cell phone, I think. So let's just shift click and yeah, give cell phone. Yeah, very good. So we can call work and quit job. Yes. Nice. And I'm also going to have to update my spreadsheet. Oh, maybe I, yeah, actually I didn't, no, I didn't ha add him in. So I don't really have to do anything with that. That's good. Um, yeah, so then I just need to make sure that he... Um, either that he has a job that he can go to in the evening while he's at his bar. And uh, I did add in the um, NPC career for a bartender. So it might work. Uh, I'm going to have to check the work hours. But if it doesn't match good enough, then I'm going to just not give him a job, I think. Because I looked at the culinary career and I didn't feel like anything was matching <laughs> well enough for it. So I'm going to shift click on the newspaper and go to adult jobs, bartendering. Let's see. Okay, that's 8 p.m. to 2 a.m. That's actually pretty much perfect, I'd say. And um, yeah, I'm going to treat the pay uh, as like tips. I guess. So um, 100 simoleons a day. Yeah, sure. Take job. He can be in um, level one. And uh, well, I'm not sure if this is level one, though. Let's see. Um, what is level one? No, that's 50, actually. That's even better, I think. 
Uh, but I'm gonna have to give him a job stopinator to make sure that he's not promoted past this point as well. Not until I say so, anyway. <laughs> awesome. Well, that means that, well, as for taking care of Riley, uh, it means, of course, that Ivy can comfortably go to her job on the days that she's working. And then also Jihoon can go to his job so they can take turns. And uh, I don't really have to think about that. Although I might want to um, send him to the daycare center anyway, because I bet that <laughs> if <laughs> Jihoon works this late, he's going to be exhausted and won't be able to take care of him properly. I'll have to see how, how I do it. But yeah, let's um, make Jehun's dreams come true and uh, build him a pub. So the spot that I had uh, been planning to build this pub is actually a community lot that I have had like mapped out for a long time. This is like plans long in the making that uh, are finally coming true now, <laughs> both for you and for me. Uh, so this is actually the lot that I have been saving for this. Uh, not only is it part of the more commercial area of Pleasant View, it's also very, very close to the university <laughs> district or what to call it. So I think that makes a lot of sense. So the uni students can um, walk between their homes, the library and the pub. <laughs> makes sense to me. So yeah, this is the lot that uh, I'm going to build it on. So it's a pretty decent size lot. And I think that um, it might be necessary. Let's see how, <laughs> how big I have to make this. Um, but I actually had to go into the library a lot first and remove some of these um, street lights that I had actually on the opposite, opposite side of the road. And I have to add them back in on this lot instead. And I have them spaced out very neatly <laughs> like this. So I have to figure out like how evenly to place them. But let's start with uh, the road pieces first. There we go. And let's see here. So it's uh, eight in between. So that should be correct. Doesn't look right though. No, it's not correct. Yeah, like that. Oh, it's on the, <laughs> on the phone. Uh, but I can move that instead. Just have to grab it by the receiver. No, it doesn't look right. I think I moved it one too little anyway. Sorry. Yes, now it's correct. Okay, good. Right. And then uh, once I do what I have planned for this lot, uh, am I going to have to keep going with this row to fill it out completely? Then we have street lights all the way there. But the next thing to consider is parking. And there's really two options, I'd say, either to the left side or the right. Even though it's often better to have the parking on the left side, because then you can have the animation of them pulling up with the car and everything. I do think that the building will look better if it sits on the left side closer to this part and that there's a parking in between whatever's on this lot. I think that will actually, yeah, I think that will be better. So yeah, I'm going to do one of those solutions that, uh, let's see if I can make it work anyway. So I could put it in here. It also depends on how far up I want the parking lot to be. No, I think this will take up too much space. I'm going to go with the teleport into the parking lot solution instead. <laughs> I'm going to put it there for now. And um, with this, you're really supposed to like leave. If I put it on this, they're going to have trouble getting out of the the left side of the car at the driver's seat. So 
I really should make a space in between like that. The only thing bothering me then is that this will have like white parking lines <laughs> and this in between won't have it. I could make this uh, invisible though to get around that problem like this so it's not noticeable. I think that's upside down now. Of course now I can't see it so maybe I should have it filled in while I build and then I can remove it. So I know where the lines are. That will work I think because then I can put in yeah, the sidewalk and it should be like this. Oh, and I put this one tile too far forward. Now this is really slim though. Hmm. Maybe I should um, do it like that instead. Yeah, and like this, and then I could have the parking lot like continue on this side to more slots like that. Yeah, and that would give me a little bit more space right here if I want to make the building like curve, I could do it like that. And then this could have three tiles and probably like all the way around would be good for this building. So then this is where the cars will pull in. This has to be invisible. Yeah, and then I can put in some sort of fence here. Probably like a chicken wire would make sense. Yeah, so like that. Yeah, maybe. Let's see if I keep that or not. <laughs> that might work. And then um, let's see what it looks like if I remove the lines. Yeah, yeah, it will be filled up with cars, of course, when uh, we actually arrive to this lot. So this should work, I think. Is there like a car I can try out for size? No, no vehicles on community lots, of course. Right, so... Oh, wait, there's like the fixer-upper thing, right? Mm, not even that, actually. <laughs> okay. Well, I can't try it. Uh, but I think this, this should be slim, but it should be okay. Right, so then I will be able to use this space to build the actual pub. So, yeah. Let's uh, start doing that. So, having the layout sort of mapped out before I even began to build helped me a lot and um, this building is a little bit funny because I've been having this uh, pub in my head for a very long time. <laughs> I've actually like visualized machine machines and stuff here uh, so actually building it was an interesting experience because I don't know why but uh, whenever I sit down to actually build something that I've been thinking about it never turns out the way that I had imagined it. <laughs> Um, so yeah, the way that I'd had this pub in my head was very different from the way that it turned out, actually. Um, and um, mostly I've been thinking about uh, the basement part of it, and um, that's what inspired me to, to make that sort of it, uh, a basement and then uh, an open door with a staircase leading out at the back, because that's uh, something that I seen in real life and uh, something that I've had in mind that uh, whether it's yeah it's probably only going to be for the for the owner in this case but like a back door that you would be able to go outside to smoke or something um, is something that uh, I wanted to add for sure so <laughs> that's at the back and um, yeah uh, also the the upstairs turned out very different from <laughs> the way that I had imagined it, but I think that it uh, fits in really well with uh, the Pleasant View buildings around it that I've built so far. A lot of uh, yeah, dark greys and uh, brick. Also this uh, sort of um, 
how do I describe it? The columns and um, the uh, the low fence pattern <laughs> above it um, is something that also returns in other places of Pleasant View. For example, the clothing store uh, or outside of the cafe, I should say. Uh, it has that same same thing. And uh, I like to have, um, when I build this uh, neighborhood, I like to keep things like looking similar in different buildings. So everything ties together, uh, even if, yeah, they need to look unique, of course, as well, um, the buildings. But some of these little details that brings it all together it helps, I think. So this downstairs area, I knew that I wanted to have one big room for a stage so that I could have performances here and <laughs> that's uh, part of uh, what I've been imagining in my head for this place. Um, but I also knew that I wanted a uh, sort of backstage area. So if I have performers coming here, uh, whether it's a band or it's like a stand-up comedian or someone, they can actually hang out in the the area downstairs before the show and um, yeah I think that would be a nice like uh, I don't know storage room or um, employee room or something for uh, Yihun as well to have um, so that's I left that room empty for now downstairs but uh, yeah that's something that I'm going to have to figure out as I start working more with this space but this room upstairs is pretty important. This is where uh, I'm going to have the bar area. And um, I think that uh, I was very inspired by this um, bar uh, CC objects that I've seen and also downloaded um, on the line. Um, and uh, I don't know if I've seen it for real or not, but uh, uh, it has this, um, well, bar cabinets or what I should say uh, hanging above like from the roof and then uh, glasses hanging down uh, like attached to those no, now that I think about it I think I have seen that in real life actually and uh, that sort of frames everything and uh, makes it feel even more um, like a lived in thriving pub <laughs> I should say so that's what I did here and um I turned the cupboards inwards so that uh, if they would be used, I guess there are like glasses and stuff in there, then uh, it would be accessible for anyone working at the bar. And I, yeah, when I tried to put them in, they, uh, the way that they snapped was uh, strictly to one tile. I couldn't put them on a half tile or anything. So I actually had to turn snapping off completely, which was uh, pretty messy. <laughs> And it took me quite a while to actually get them uh, lined up properly. And um, what happened when I tried to put in the, um, the glasses that are supposed to hang um, below the cupboards, uh, they also snapped to the uh, top of the cupboards as well. So I had to put them all on, on OMSPs. And when I tried to put them below the cabinets, uh, I think I had shifted them up and down a little bit on the OMSPs, but they were sinking into the cabinets, so I had to raise all of the cabinets by one click, and <laughs> that made, yeah, that way I had to redo everything again. Um, <laughs> but uh, on the flip side, I do think that the result was really, really nice, how it turned out. Um, I could line up everything just the way that I wanted it, so even if it took me quite a while to actually do it, I'm really, really pleased with the result afterwards. And of course, you can't really have a bar with uh, flasks and stuff uh, unless you have a mirror behind it, right? <laughs> and that's the typical thing. And uh, I used a lot of um, like shelving and, and stuff here. Something that I really enjoy with these kinds of like kitchen basic stuff and, and things tied together with it is that everything has the same recolors, so you can really yeah, mix and match and uh, build some really interesting stuff uh, using uh, shelving and these kinds of wall cupboards and uh, yeah, to have uh, everything match pretty much um, the way that they are. I really enjoy that. And I had um, 
since I've been binge downloading a lot of uh, Yodely Yodely's, um, you know, bars and pubs for downtown, <laughs> I have a lot of alcohol flasks. <laughs> and uh, yeah, they I really could use them here. So it, it's a good thing for me um, to have those. And uh, yeah, I just went, uh, went ham with them. I just put in so many. But I think it, uh, it fits really. That's what you're supposed to do at the bar, right? So <laughs> even if the Sims are technically going to drink juice um, when they're here, um, the visuals of this makes things more realistic, I think. And I put in some um, music for them and some um, booth seats. And uh, I was actually thinking about whether I should uh, like put in the menu board and uh, make it possible to also eat here. But I recently watched a uh, Katie Catastrophe video about her um, Build a Cities challenge. And uh, she had food at her pub. And uh, um, the thing that happened was that um, the dirty dishes, the guests started complaining about them at once, like as soon as they got up from their tables. And I didn't really want to hire an employee only to do the cleaning and things in here. And I thought that if uh, Jihoon would be like the bartender and also like salesperson and, and everything, uh, it would be too much to manage with dirty dishes as well. So I didn't put it in. I might in the future if uh, I do get him an, an employee. Uh, we'll have to see how this pub runs and how everything works out. But. Yeah, for now, um, I just stuck to drinks, and we'll have to see. And I put in a uh, feature wall with a uh, sort of photographic um, wallpaper, and uh, then uh, it looked a bit weird, like on the sides of it, because it was just like uh, wood, 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 and then all of a sudden wallpaper, and then wood again. <laughs> so I put in some columns to frame it, and that made it look a lot better. And then I started going with the um, wall decorations. Uh, I have these um, neon signs that look really nice. And uh, also I put in a lot of posters because I felt like that suited the space as well. I tried to, to match things um, somewhat. And yeah, this is just supposed to be the entrance to the pub. So um, yeah, some seating. And uh, I mean, this really is just a, a space where the Sims are going to uh, stand around the ticket machine, basically. But uh, I wanted it to feel like this is where you like come to the pub and uh, hang off your coat and walk in, uh, decide if you want to go upstairs or into the, the actual pub part. So I put some band posters here and uh, I, um, I figured it would be like a commercial for anything going on downstairs. So uh, any band that's supposed to play here, they can put up their band poster to to make uh, sort of, sort of um, advertisement for themselves, <laughs> I felt like would be um, logical up here. Yeah, here's the, the coat racks and the ticket machine as well. And uh, I decided to go with uh, one of the really like grubby, unclean <laughs> toilet stalls. And uh, I felt like uh, at a bar like this, um, even if the owner uh, takes care of it really, really well, it wouldn't be squeaky clean. It just wouldn't happen, I think. Um, I feel it's more immersive this way uh, with a lot of like, yeah, yeah grimy textures <laughs> like this. Um, and uh, I uh, decided to not go with my favorite wooden floor this time. I wanted to switch things up a little bit. Uh, so I found this floor that uh, I feel like it matched the pub vibe even better, actually. And, uh, you know, when you drink alcohol or, well, juice in the Sims cases, <laughs> then of course you shouldn't be driving a car, technically. So I um, I wanted to make a point of putting in bike racks as well. Um, like the Sims uh, who are actually getting tipsy <laughs> being here, uh, they could uh, actually drive here on the bike or walk, of course. It's pretty like central in the city as well, or city. <laughs> town, I should say. Uh, but yeah, I felt like it was important to also um, visualize having the bikes here. And 
Yeah, I also have them like scattered around town, and um, even if the Sims aren't technically using bikes to get around in The Sims 2, I like the visuals of it, um, where it makes sense, like especially around this part where I put the pub with the uh, uni students and everything. Uh, I felt like they they wouldn't have cars technically, most of them at least, um, so it makes more sense for there to be a lot of bikes. And I had started with um, sort of the uh, the stone kind of stairs for this space, but uh, I decided to go with wood instead to tie the downstairs together more with the upstairs. And uh, yeah, I feel like it um, it became better like this. Um, thinking about it now, after the fact of building this, I uh, might not keep all of the four rooms downstairs. I might open up. Uh, between the staircase and the uh, the door to the out, out back. Um, might put in some sort of seating or something down there, I'll have to see. The important part is that I have a room for the stage where the performances can be, and then also a backstage area with like, um, yeah, some uh, workspace for, for you as well. And uh, I, I was working a bit on the stage itself and it was a bit tricky to get a good size of stage and also maintain a good size of room for the um, the well the visitors or what to call them um, and I uh, <laughs> actually when I had visualized this space I had imagined it with a lot of small like tables uh, but you know from experience with like, having people attend these kinds of things uh, at least the way that I remember it I don't think that the sims do sit down I think that uh, I attempted having the the mic for a stand-up performance at the uh, uh, nursing home with uh, Makoto St. Julian who's a retired uh, stand-up comedian and uh, the way that I remember it is that they actually stood and uh, listened to him they didn't sit down and um, I think that uh, when they listen to music as well, they don't really sit. Um, I think that they, they like stand and listen or dance to it mostly. So I, I, uh, I went with that. I might change it later. Uh, I'll have to see how, uh, how everything runs. It's going to be a bit of trial and error for this as with most of my builds <laughs> in this neighborhood. Um, yeah, I put in some nice uh, lighting as well. I wanted things to be uh, a bit muted upstairs uh, with sort of dim cozy lighting but uh, downstairs I uh, wanted it to be like a moody vibe so I put in the red lighting behind the curtains and that uh, yeah did a trick and uh, yeah when I put up the walls and uh, the roof I saw that uh, the cupboards were poking out <laughs> so I fixed that all right so this is the way that it turned out and uh, I think it looks pretty nice. I think I might have gone overboard. Oh, I missed one thing I see here. <laughs> uh, let me just redo that. Right, now it should look fine. So the big question is, um, how expensive is it? It's pretty expensive. <laughs> yeah. So I'm going to have to think about how big a loan I want him to take out for this. I guess he would have to take out like 40,000 for it because he got 50. And that will take a while to earn back, but I think that is better like that. I might regret this after, but uh, <laughs> let's uh, let's say that's fine. So um, yeah, I'm gonna save this up. Uh, oh, do I want actually? Do I want the bin and the phone to be there? I don't think I do. I think first of all, let's recolor this to. Yeah, let's go with this, and um, can be there but the phone um oh. 
let's um <laughs> Yeah, let's put that here. I think that should be fine. Yeah, so I'm gonna save up here and uh, go back to the household. All right, so we're back at the house and let's set this up. So Jihoon, you are gonna have to take out a loan. So let's see here. Trying to figure out which one is the easiest, I guess, in increments of 10,000. <laughs> there we go. Looks like Ivy has uh, finished nursing Riley, so she can make the bed and uh, get dressed. Okay, good. So... Um, he has enough money, so he should be able to buy the lot. Right, and I um, renamed it to the Red Llama. <laughs> I'll, I'll have to see if I keep it, but uh, yeah, let's do it for now. And yeah. Cool, so that ate up almost all of their money, <laughs> of course. But now he, he owns the lot, so that's awesome. And... Um, yeah, of course, he's not going to go to work until in the evening. So I'm going to wait, hold myself back a little bit. <laughs> and uh, these guys are going to spend the day at home with the baby. And uh, yeah, I uh, actually wanted to uh, buy something new for Ivy to wear because even though I recently changed her out of her maternity wear into this, uh, she's been wearing this for a long time for me. <laughs> so I want to give her something fresh, possibly something blue, because um, when she was a townie, she had a blue shirt on. So I'm sort of thinking that that's her favorite color, really. Um, so I would like to um, bring her out on town to the clothing store and uh, buy something new for her. So... She can have her own little outing. And uh, yeah, looks like they <laughs> left the burnt dinner out after yesterday. So I'm going to have to put that, uh, well, clean that up. And um, yeah, then I'm thinking that Ivy should... Um, well, actually, Jehun is the one who's good at cooking here. So I mean, really, he should be the one to serve breakfast. Um, I think... Um, Ivy can uh, read the newspaper instead. Okay, so let's um, so let's make some omelets for them. And here we have little Ro as well, uh, who's um, yeah going to age up today, I think, into an elder. Yeah, so at eleven, we're gonna have an elder cat here. Looks like he needs a little. Or she, actually. She needs a little bit of social, so Ivy can put that newspaper away and uh, cuddle the cat. And I'm also going to have to start thinking about how I want to do their wedding. While I'm looking at... Um, New clothes for Ivy. I can actually also look for a wedding dress now that I think about it. I'm not sure if I want them to have a church wedding or not. I'm going to check my spreadsheet and see if I have um, noted down if they are um, faithful or not. Because that can help me decide. No, actually, uh, Ivy is an atheist. So maybe that's why it doesn't feel right to me. Uh, let's see what I did with Jihoon. Oh, he's just agnostic. No, in that case, I don't think I want it to be a church wedding. It um, Well, the options that I have are really... Well, they could have it at home. They have a pretty nice garden. And uh, there's still one more day or two more days, maybe, 
left in fall after this. So, I mean, they could have a nice, beautiful fall wedding out here, maybe. That's something we could do. They don't really have that many family and friends either to invite, so... It would make sense to have something small, I think. For these two, at least. Yeah, I think that's how I want to do it. So I'm not gonna plan too much about it, but I'm gonna have like a vague idea that maybe, maybe tomorrow, maybe the day after. All right, so um, yeah. But let's bring uh, Ivy out on town. Right, and this is also a thing that Ivy has a car, but Jihoon doesn't. They could take turns using the car, though, but yeah, they have to own it, enable for the carpool not to show up. Do I have a cheaper car for him? I mean, yeah, technically, would I want him to have something like this? Don't think so. I mean, he could have this. <laughs> um... Yeah, let's um, let's start with that for him, <laughs> and uh, down the line maybe I can get something better. But yeah, good. <laughs> so let's go with that. But Ivy has her um, um, is it called a Land Rover? I think so. So she's gonna go alone, and uh, yeah, it's three hundred and thirty Main Streets. So Ivy's arriving to the lot, parking in the car park, of course. And uh, okay, it looks like the first thing she's gonna do is order coffee. And um, yeah, it looks like she also wants to buy, or well, for for someone else though. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I'm not gonna stop her. She can go ahead. Hello, hey, we are. We have Archie here who is greeting her and um, I'm pretty sure that they got to know one another when he was in the um, children's soccer club. So I think that she can just uh, chat with him a bit and ask how things are, catch up. And here is Ivy's coffee, but I think someone else is trying to take it, so it's not available. Oh, is it Valerie? Someone else? Let's see who it is. Mm, it's not her. No. No. Mm. That's odd. Well, let's try again then. Order coffee again. Maybe since she was interrupted, uh, it stopped working or something. <laughs> let's see. Oh, oh, she just took that one. Okay. <laughs> All right. Yes, I bet it's nice uh, coming out like this on town and uh, be on her own for a bit. Um, mothers with their young children, um, I think, often uh, get um, very stuck at home with the baby, <laughs> is my impression. So uh, I think outings like this uh, on her own is uh, comforting for Ivy. She's um, not really that social. Uh, she's uh, more shy, but she's also a little bit of an introvert, I think, that she's uh, always been be liking her alone time, so to say. That's the way that I view her. Right. And since last time that we were here, I have also opened up these passages into the changing booths. So... Uh, hopefully um, they won't fail to route into the changing rooms <laughs> as they did. Um, but I will, yeah, I think I just can just have her buy something for every day out for her. And then she can go into the wedding shop and um, try on a wedding dress instead. So let's see. Yeah, I think I'm going to go with this. 
it's very blue, but um, I do think that this suits her. So let's, yeah, let's buy that. Nice. We can have her change into that. Right, so this t-shirt is what I used to have her in when I started playing her. <laughs> so maybe when it gets uh, summer again, she can have that again. Um, but yeah. Yeah, I think that that suits her, actually. Blue definitely is her color, I think. Nice. And uh, yeah, let's go into the wedding shop and um, try on some um, wedding dresses as well. For some reason, we have uh, Ricky and Archie in here <laughs> looking at suits. Oh, is Archie in the way? Yeah, let's try again. I don't necessarily think that she would wear a crisp white dress. Maybe something a little bit, a little bit more uh, grayish or something. Okay, so <laughs> that's still in the way. I'm going to have to move these two away, I think. But I mean, she looks beautiful in that, doesn't she? Yeah. I mean, it's, it's very simple in um, like shape around the shoulders and everything, but I think that suits her really well. And with this beautiful skirt and that sort of, not sure how to describe it, but um, yeah, the, the texture of the dress, I think it's really pretty on her. Yeah, I'm going to go with that one. Yeah, for sure. I'm just going to have to find it again. <laughs> Yeah, here it is. All right then, nice. Um, so, yeah. Let's uh, send Ivy home, unless there's someone interesting in on the lot here. Apparently we have Remington Stratton here somewhere. He might just be a walk-by. Where is he? No, it's not him in the... Bathroom. Is he upstairs? Oh, there he is. And we actually also have Brandy Lillard, who um, Ivy hasn't met. So I guess she should greet her. Hmm. I'm trying to think who she would have the most in common with. I think maybe Brandy, actually. So let's chat with her. Oh, <laughs> looks like they, they didn't really get along. No, all right. Um, yeah, maybe she'll just save her social capacity for the girls she actually wants to befriend, like Kaylin and uh, Edith. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, she can, go, she can go home again. And um, yeah, let's see. Oh, if it isn't the black-eyed police officer, Alicia Turner, <laughs> patrolling the streets. <laughs> right, and she's returning home. And... Um, I think I'll hold off on um, changing her um, changing her formal wear uh, until the actual wedding because I don't know if there will be other parties she'll be invited to and I, then I don't want her to be wearing a wedding dress so yeah let's um, yeah let's see what she should be up to today uh, I think that. Uh, for sure, since she has the day off, she would like to uh, play some soccer. So I'm going to bring the fun down so she actually stays at it for a bit. And uh, yeah, we can spend some time with Ji Hoon. So uh, start by taking care of the cat. And let's see. Right, so his hobby is actually tinkering. 
is what he likes doing on his free time. So let me think on that. Oh, looks like yeah, <laughs> little Ro is uh, running around crazily. Looks like uh, the catnip is <laughs> is out. But yeah, Riley has to take priority here. He is pooped his diaper. Looks like so. Let's get that changed. All right, so they have had some cuddles and uh, the cat has gone to sleep on the bed. <laughs> so let's put Riley back in the crib. Right, so he has locked in once here for befriending both Benjamin and uh, Ramin. So far he's friends with a bunch of townies, which I'm not really that interested in. I mean, he can have those friendships, but I'm not going to maintain them. Uh, so they'll probably be gone pretty quickly. Um, so is he outgoing? Not really. He's also shy. I suspect that Benjamin might be at work today, but we can see if he wants to. If he's available, then he can come over. Oh, he is actually. Maybe he has the day off then. So... Yeah, actually... Ivy wanted to befriend Edith as well, so let's see if she can come. Yeah, I think they will, actually. Yeah. Maybe Wednesdays is a good day. Plenty of people <laughs> having the day off. Um, yeah, so... Of course, the energy goes down very, very quickly when they play soccer. So I'm going to bump that up again and take down comfort instead. And then Ivy's going to have to take a shower. And uh, yeah, Yihun, do you have any rewards or anything? Yeah, just the bare bones though. So yeah, let's uh, get you some coffee. Good, and Ivy's going upstairs. Let's see when the guests arrive. Yeah, here they are. Let's just abandon the coffee cup, I think. You got a little bit of energy anyway. <laughs> and yeah, let's greet everyone. Great, so... Oh, he didn't meet her? That's weird. Um... Yeah, he can uh, give her a, an earthy hug then. Um, what's in the way? Something. <laughs> okay. Now she he met her. Good. So let's have him uh, spend some time with Benjamin. And uh, are you done in the shower? Yeah, you are. So you can go downstairs and chat to Edith. Oh, why are you up here though? <laughs> um, let's bring them downstairs. They don't have to be on the landing there. Yeah, they, um, they are almost neighbors, these um, families. Because Benjamin and Edith, they live in the trailer. I think you can see it. Yeah, the trailer right here. <laughs> so they are, they, they are, I would say they're neighbors. And they're pretty close in age. Um, as the biggest thing they have um, that differs them from each other, though, is uh, probably that Edith and Benjamin are really, really faithful. <laughs> Whereas uh, Ivy is actually an atheist, so I think that's the biggest difference. But uh, otherwise, they are pretty similar, I think, these couples. They'd make good friend friends, I think. We're closing in on lunchtime, but so far at least Yihun isn't very hungry, so I think I can push it a bit. Yeah, and I think uh, once Ivy and Edith have made friends, they can switch parts. <laughs> partners <laughs> talking partners oh 
Looks like Jihoon got some more fame in the hood. That's cool. I bet he's gonna um, meet a lot new people with his new job. And well, you wanna watch TV? Sure. You can do that. And maybe Benjamin, you wanted to join. I wonder is Ivy a secondary um, popularity sim? Yeah, she is. So that's why she is getting a lot of friend ones. Um, yeah, but I mean, I can max out her tree now. Why not? And of course, she wants to befriend Kaylin as well because um, uh, she's the wife of her best friend, Kennedy Cox. They've been uh, very, very close, both uh, friends and also uh, colleagues for a very long time. So that makes sense. Oh, wait. It's past 11. What's the cat doing? Sleeping. Okay. <laughs> Not gonna sleep for very much longer though, so... Um, don't really want to miss uh, the aging up here. Try to keep an eye on the cat. <laughs> oh, here we go, I think. Right, so she's gonna drop to the floor and probably age up. Oh, no, she's gonna <laughs> try to be hugged by, by the baby. I think that he's a bit too young, though. It's very cute, though. <laughs> Hey, don't hide. <laughs> I'm trying to get a good look at you. No, oh, okay. Now we're going downstairs, apparently. We're on the cat cam here. Here we go. <laughs> oh, okay. Jihoon's gonna spend some time here with little Catty. No, it was very gentle. <laughs> I always wonder when it says toss in air because it sounds very violent. <laughs> Aren't you gonna age up, bro? Oh, here we go. Yeah. Now she's an elder. Speaking of which, um, the catnip was um, eaten. So we can buy a new one. And I wanted to, mm, actually, he can uh, serve up some lunch for them. Oh, well, what to make, I guess. Um, <laughs> yeah, grilled cheese sounds good, I think. Yeah, Ivy definitely needs to eat, so. Um, but she can um, start by chatting a little bit with Benjamin as well. I mean, Benjamin and Ivy have a little bit in common. Um, he's a scientist, natural scientist, really, uh, very much into the outdoors, the environment. And uh, of course, Ivy is also a um, knowledge sim, so she has some interest in those kinds of things. And um, I think they both are pretty much loners in their own way <laughs> yeah so the fo food is uh, finished and they can sit down to eat so let's see if benjamin will uh, join on his own yeah he will good they're talking about um age ups um maybe they're speaking about their kids aging quickly um benjamin and uh, edith recently had their son, Matthew, become a teenager, so he's uh, in high school now, and I think it's pretty easy for parents to reminisce about like how quick the time flies, and I bet when the children are as young as Riley's, then uh, it's very noticeable for parents to see week by week, month by month, as the child grows very visibly. Talking about the autumn weather, <laughs> it's been uh, pretty sunny now though, so I mean it's it's nice weather still. Looks like Riley might need to eat, so I'm gonna send send Ivy upstairs to nurse him. Right, 
Right. So I think that, uh, yeah, Jihoon can uh, chat a bit with um, Edith as well. So that they uh, get to know one another as well. And here we have the little baby getting fed. So I bet she's going to be here for a while. <laughs> it uh, usually takes a long time. Right, so it looks like Jihoon made a joke about um, like medicine. And that, of course, that's Edith's job. <laughs> she works at the hospital. So I think that uh, he needs a diaper change once she's done with that. Right. And uh, he needs a little bit of an energy boost. So let's just bump that up. Um, but it looks like, um, yeah, I think I brought it up uh, before for her when I uh, was having her play soccer and, and stuff. So she looks fine. And maybe I'll even send, even send Jihoon to have a nap before he leaves for work because he's going to need all the energy he has for that late night shift. So I think he needs to leave around 7 since he starts at 8. Oh well, that's when um, the pub is supposed to open. Oh, you're stinky, Benjamin. <laughs> what on earth? <laughs> <laughs> what have you been doing? We've been out in the nature and done something. <laughs> yeah, so it looks like he needs the, a shower. So <laughs> I guess we'll say goodbye to these guys. And um, yeah, Yihun actually also needs to freshen up a bit. So I'm going to send him upstairs. No, I keep clicking the mirror instead of the toilet. Yeah, you're still going with the breastfeeding. I think you can probably stop that now. And change his diaper instead. Oh, she was fearing that. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, she can also give him a cuddle. Yeah, he looks a lot more green now. I love this cuddle interaction so much. It's so cute. <laughs> really, really sweet. All right, so let's put him back in the crib. And... Um, I don't think he's aging up today. It should be tomorrow, I think. I don't remember though, so we'll have to see. Yeah, uh, you can probably... No, <laughs> mirror again. You can probably use the bathroom. Uh, Jihoon is done. And um, yeah, I'm sending him downstairs to nap. If he can. The steer is not on, right? No. Oh, the shower is broken. <laughs> All right. So, I mean, technically it's his hobby, but he's so bad at it compared to Ivy. So I think I'm going to have Ivy repaired anyway. <laughs> still still going to have to figure out what uh, kind of thing I want him to do for his hobby with tinkering. I could get, get him one of those... Um, fixer upper cars I guess but I feel like I have plenty of people already in the hood who does that and it seems so unusual for people to do for fun so I don't want to want to overuse it either um, I think you could have like a train set but that's like huge and I don't know where to <laughs> put that in this condo um of course, we have the toy making station, but I don't think that suits really either. He could technically just go around and tinker with stuff and like read up on mechanical. He's a knowledge sim, so I guess he would like to sit down and read. Um, so that's that's something I could have him do sometimes. Right, and Ivy needs another shower apparently. Yeah, good. So he could nap for a little bit. That's good. And the little cat is at it again with the with the mouse. <laughs> it's 
so adorable. So I think I'm gonna send the Ivy downstairs to drink coffee. I think they make a cute couple, like these two, very calm and um, um, loner knowledge sims. <laughs> I think they, uh, they, they're gonna make a nice, calm life together. Oh, he's dreaming about Tosha for some reason. Yeah, he, he knows her, but they're not really friends or anything. Oh, there was no pop-up for... Riley, I guess he is aging up today then. Huh. Well, that's fun in that case. I'm gonna have to see when that triggers then. <laughs> so cute when the cats just sit and supervise like that. <laughs> Tossed in air. Oh, Jihun has woken up. And he wants to flirt with Ivy. I see. But she's busy with the cats. <laughs> now they're both wanting to play with the cat. Oh, now he's actually tossing her. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Oh, congratulations on quitting your job. That's good. I think that um, she's probably very supportive of his new decision. Yeah, she was on the way to nurse the baby, but it was interrupted for some reason. I um, wonder if it has anything to do with uh, him aging up. Possibly. Right, so it's uh, about seven here. So um, Jihoon should really um, move out to the pub. And we're going to see how that works. Setting that up, so... Let's uh, have him live in his very gorgeous car here. <laughs> so go somewhere on your own. And it's going to be the Red Llama. Oh, actually he was... Um, he is sent to help with birthday, but I think... Um, yeah, you have to leave actually. So you have to leave that to um, to Ivy to fix. And here's the carpool for some reason. It should leave when he leaves, I think. So here we are, and uh, Jihoon is arriving at the back here. So um, let's see. I um, I do need to put in an open and closed sign, and. Um, I think I can put it like here or something. Yeah, good. So it's open and uh, we're going to start charging customers. And I'm also going to have to set up the price I want. And I'm also going to have to consider if I want to use the Vista controller in any way. Uh, but let's not use it for now and see how that works. Great, so... Ah! This was, um, I got some really kind uh, recommendations or well, tips about this ticket machine uh, last episode. And apparently I could have granted free entry to Dina <laughs> at the dance studio. So uh, yeah, yeah, that's pretty cool actually. Um, but let's see what the price is. Uh, so it's 22 simoleons um, and that's average. So it's a rank zero business though. And I don't want him to have to stand here and wait. It went up to 41 when I switched to cheap. Don't know how that works, but okay, <laughs> sure. <laughs> so let's go set it to cheap. And uh, yeah, I think Sophie's routing somewhere for some reason. Uh, but she should really go to the ticket machine, I think. Um, so... I'm gonna wanna start with this door locked, I think. Uh, allow me only. And this also allow me only. And also, I mean, all of these gates and everything. Uh, lock allow me only. Yeah, because this, this really should not be for visitors at all. So 
unless there's someone performing downstairs, they really shouldn't be there at all. So I think that, um, yeah, this is uh, how we're going to do it. And this shelf looks really, really dark for some reason. I'm going to see if I can um, move it a bit to fix it. Oh, yeah, I can just do that. But why isn't it even? Why is that on backwards or something? Oh, yeah. <laughs> it was. Okay. Uh, yeah. Okay, then. So, let's see how this works. If uh, he's the bartender. Then hopefully they uh, they will by their entrances on their own. Hopefully he doesn't have to um, encourage them to. Or maybe he does. Yeah, it, it's no use being the bartender when there's no one in the bar. <laughs> so <laughs> let's uh, just do a basic sell here on these girls. Oh, we have Lucy Hanby, but she's wearing her um, her maid outfit for some reason at the bar. Uh, I um, I don't think I like that. Uh, let's change her into her everyday outfit instead. Yeah, much better. Good, so we have our first visitor. And we can uh, basic sell to Lucy as well. Nice, so he earned his first simoleon. Awesome. And I think Sophie's probably on the way in now. So um, yeah, I think... Turn on the music is a good idea as well to bring in something more to do for them. And good, so uh, Sophie is also entering now. So let's just see what they get up to. Sophie is heading in here. Oh, she's going to dance. Okay, <laughs> sure. And Suzanne is just standing here looking at the window. Oh no, she, now she's entering. So I wonder, do I have to set this for sale actually? Or is that going to sell the entire bar? I honestly don't know. Let's just see if they do buy anything to drink on their own. Otherwise, I'm going to have to do it. <laughs> so far, they're just dancing. Maybe I should remove some seating then, because it looks like they want to dance here. So it's, um, yeah, it's not very much use if they don't want to sit down. Yeah, that should work, I think. How's it going for you, Lucy? Okay, good. You also... Purchased the ticket. So she's also coming in here. Okay, so. Yeah. Okay, they're just interacting for now. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Where did Suzanne go? Did she leave or did she. Sneak downstairs. <laughs> I think maybe she left. She's not in the bathroom. Hmm. They're not buying drinks yet, at least. And I'm not sure why. Okay, let me um, <laughs> let me have a quick Google. Hmm. Yeah, okay, no, I um, didn't manage to find any information on it, so I guess he doesn't have to. It said something about um, you have to have an employee, so maybe that's the issue, that he has to have an employee, but I'd, I'd rather he didn't. Uh, hmm. Let's see. And I also maybe need something that's more fun uh, than only the music here. 
for them to stay longer because it seems like they're just leaving now. And uh, yeah, this needs to be screened off still, but I don't know, maybe we should, um, no, let's just uh, sell these as well then and uh, see if I can put in some uh, games or something instead. That might work better. I don't think I want arcade games though, so maybe... I mean, we could put in uh, poker tables. That would be also be nice for um, the sims in the hood who have the games hobby as well, to be able to come here and play poker, I guess. But what chairs then? Yeah, let's leave some space also for um, people to dance if they want to. So that should do something, hopefully. So yeah, let's see. Does Stacy want to come in now? You have to tend the bar, you can't... Um, But I think I've I've done it on the diagonal before, so let's just see if it works or not. <laughs> Otherwise, I'll have to flip them again. Oh, we have uh, Marisa Bendet here. Yeah, okay, no. Let's fix this then. Sorry about that. Now it should work. Good, so they're gonna sit there and uh, play. That's nice. And let's see if Marissa's coming in on her own. Ooh, I just realized that I <laughs> I forgot to put in a time control clock. No, <laughs> that's why time's running so quickly. Um, can I put it on here? No, that's going to be. Maybe I can if I move this first. No. Okay. Let's bring out an OMSP then. Oh, right, I made it invisible. I can't see where it is. <laughs> there we go. Now it will work better, I think. <laughs> so let's see. Looks like Marissa is um, on the verge of accepting. And here we have Ivy Barrett, another townie. So let's see, maybe they have to be like hungry or something in order to want to have a drink. I don't know. But I guess uh, if I have them actually want to stay longer <laughs> by playing games maybe they will get hungry eventually so let's see so ivy agreed to come in as well that's good do we have anyone else yeah we have a an alvin here no. oh he actually uh oh maybe that's a reviewer because he didn't even wait <laughs> let's see so they're gonna play. Well, Yihun hasn't uh, gotten a lot to do yet. <laughs> He's just uh, standing there, poor guy. But okay. At least we have visitors now. That's sticking around. We are... Looks like we're earning some nice money as well. That's very good. But I wonder, is it maxing out at four visitors? Maybe it's because of the, the business level. Yeah, but this is very profitable, if this is the case. So, um, huge investment. But uh, <laughs> if this is uh, running smoothly from this point on, I mean, it's um, it should be smooth sailing, I guess. 
So let's see how it how it turns out. Could be that they get too obsessed with the poker tables as well, so I'm not sure exactly how that works. Well, we got our first star anyway. So that's nice. I'm just, um, I have a feeling that the current fee is way too high though, because I'm just thinking about when my own sims are gonna come here and visit a lot, they're gonna have to cash out 41 simoleons, like, I don't know if it's every 15 minutes or anything, but it's, it's a really, really high fee, isn't it? So maybe I should lower it. It's custom price right now. It's average. Oh, but going down to sheep makes it higher. I don't know how that works. Uh, okay, but um, I don't know. Maybe 10. Let's, uh, let's do that. Of course, it's not going to change for these guys because they're already here. And of course, Marissa has been paying a lot of money now. <laughs> but um, yeah, it's 2 a.m. So this is the time when he should close the business. And he hasn't sell, sold any drinks at all. Uh, so <laughs> I don't know if I'm doing something wrong or um, yeah. Let's just wait for these guys to leave. We did earn a lot of money though, so... Oh! Yeah, it is the reviewer. All right. I hope you had a good time, Alvin. He didn't mention anything, but uh, he's happily leaving, it looks like. Okay. So let's just turn off the music and um, yeah, head back home. I think I'm going to have to uh, work a bit more on this. <laughs> <laughs> but um, yeah maybe if I like set the uh, need freak out and have um, everyone be a little bit more hungry they would go for the bar instead of the games first hmm yeah let me know if you have any experience with running bars because I could definitely use some advice I think <laughs> I think yeah I think this is the first time I'm attempting it so yeah, but anyway, let's uh, drive home. We're back at the condo and the, the um, carpool car is just leaving. So uh, yeah, Jihoon is not feeling very well, uh, but I'm gonna bump it up to pretty much where he was when he left. I think somewhere around there, right? So. Yeah, he can um, have a restart when he actually leaves for work now then. Um, so, drive to work, please. Yeah, and Ivy hasn't um, taken care of the, um, the aging up process yet. And of course, this is the, the bartender outfit that uh, technically he should be wearing, I guess, when he's at work. So I'm going to see about... Um, maybe I want to set this as his career outfit or well his um management outfit or was it called <laughs> at the businesses um yeah the uniform yeah I, maybe i can set this as his uniform um at the bar yeah but let's have him leave for work and ivy what are you up to you have been uh, napping a bit i think Maybe just relaxing. So let's see if uh, you get a queue up to um, help Riley with his birthday or not. Well, she's uh, enjoying her alone time anyway. <laughs> but that's just how it is like uh, when you're alone at home um, and you don't have anyone close by, you can break out your best dance moves and uh, sing at the top of your voice, right? <laughs> Not just me. 
Well, at least Ivy and I am the same. That's what it looks like. Oh, here we go. So now I think it's time. Yep, help with the birthday. Yeah, it would be interesting to see what he uh, ends up looking like. Oh no, it was interrupted. Go here. <laughs> Maybe we can get the new one. What's in the way now? The cat. <laughs> Why are you sleeping there? <laughs> Out of all places. Can you just um, yeah sleep by the, the mouse toy? Yep. And uh, now you should be able to walk upstairs. So let's just uh, cuddle him for a bit and see if it triggers. No, not yet. <laughs> okay. Um... Yeah, let's actually then use the sim blender because um, yeah, I think it's just going to be baby juggling otherwise. So, aging, age baby Riley. Yeah, here we go. Okay, so there's confetti in the way now, but um, yeah, let's take a look at him. Oh my god, that's adorable. <laughs> Look at those ears. Oh no, he's so cute. <laughs> I mean, that hairstyle is pretty much perfect for him as well, because it matches his daddy's hair color as well. No. Really, really cute. <laughs> um, I have no clue what baby clothes they have. Um... Okay, so she can plan every day outfit, but I, I mean, since she's only had a daughter, I guess it's uh, girls' clothes in there, so. Maybe. Maybe just put him down for now. And uh, yeah, they're gonna have to sell this crib and uh, buy a um, toddler bed instead. That should be fine. And um, it's it's so cramped in here. Um, but yeah, we do need a potty chair. It's going to be a squeeze. And we do need a high chair. Can move this chair to be in the corner there and let's put in this high chair. A black one will be fine, I think. Let's make it like this instead. And how do I want to do this? Because, yeah, I really don't want to touch this room. I should be able to uh, hopefully squeeze a potty in here. That should work, I think. And um, they do not have a bathtub. <laughs> so eh, he can get the bath at the uh, daycare center. <laughs> oh dear. Let's see how we can figure this out. And some sort of toy he needs as well. We have some pretty cheap ones here. You can give him a, a rocket ship toy. To play with. And, you know, maybe let's... Um, are you also going to have wants for your kid? You actually don't have wants for your kid. Mm-hmm. Let's lock in the uh, potty training one instead of the uh, maxing out the sports enthusiasm. I think that can come later. And uh, let's send her downstairs and buy some clothes for him. Okay, nice. So we have something. So let's um, 
Planis Everyday and Planis PJ outfits. There should still be a nice PJ from um, Hazel when she was a toddler. I hope. Let's see. Ooh, and this little guy really needs to use the potty. Yeah, so this is his little toddler outfit. Very cute. Okay, so he actually has three options here. I think that this is the one that Hazel had. <laughs> I love mom. <laughs> um, yeah, but I mean, he can have uh, this little violet romper. And usually you have to um, actually dress them in the PJs for it to sort of trigger that they have changed outfits for some reason. Otherwise, they'll still have the old PJs, I've noticed. And let's bring him to the potty quickly. <laughs> See, so we make it in time. Yeah, it's definitely a squeeze, but it works. <laughs> That's good. Nice. And let's bring him downstairs to the high chair. Oh, he's hungry. <laughs> Not happy. <laughs> right, and uh, I think that Ivy can also prepare something for herself to eat as well. Do you have leftovers? Oh, you do. Nice. Uh, yeah, of course you have the, the grilled cheese as well. Uh, but let's have some spaghetti, I think. So, um, yeah, Ivy is definitely overjoyed to see Hazel back. And um, of course, there's a lot of things that's uh, unsaid between them, but she couldn't be happier that her daughter is, has decided to return home and uh, whatever was keeping her away has seemed to um, calm down at least. And uh, I think that... <laughs> She, she at least, she has this feeling that no matter what happens from this point on, everything is going to be all right. And of course, Hazel is uh, bonding a bit with the cat. Amongst other things, of course, she's missed little Roa as well. <laughs> yeah, they're gonna have a hug again. And uh, I think that Hi Ivy definitely wants to like catch up and chat and everything with her and they made best friends again so um i think that um 
Hazel isn't really saying much. She's a tight-lipped teenager and um, she's sort of like shrugging it off. But um, it goes along the lines of um, she's feeling sorry and uh, she's had a new point of view recently. She can um, understand why her mother decided to do what she did and um, that she was in the wrong, basically. So, yeah, they're gonna bond a bit more and catch up and, uh, yeah, enjoy each other's company. And I think that Hazel is also relieved that even though she did make peace in her mind about Jihoon, that he wasn't actually at home <laughs> when she came back. So, yeah, I think that's, um, for her, it's a good thing. Yeah, um, it's very, very late. So um, I'm actually just going to... Uh, Send her to sleep. And um, yeah, I think Ivy can uh, also just um, use the bathroom. Oh, the cat is in the way again, I think. Oh, no. No, it, she wasn't actually. Right, so Hazel is back in her room, in her bed. This is where she actually belongs. And uh, Ivy couldn't be happier. She could take another shower, but... <laughs> I think I'm just gonna call it a night for her now anyway. So let's just uh, drop her in bed. And that was it for um, this day for Ivy and for her episode. Of course, uh, Jihoon is going to come home a little bit later, but I think it's um, fine to end the day here for her. And that was it for uh, this episode. So uh, I really look forward to working more with uh, the bar and see what I can come up with and how I can learn how to <laughs> manage things better. And um, I also look forward to actually throwing uh, the wedding as well. I think it'll be really nice out in the garden. So thank you so much for watching this episode and uh, see you next time. And just as I was closing down after Jihoon has arrived and gone to bed, this is uh, <laughs> what I saw. Uh, I recently actually got a mod that increases the frequency for burglaries just because I want to sort of drive that in this hood. And um, I think I also tweaked it a little bit to make it even more frequent, <laughs> if I remember correctly. So, yeah, that's why, um, yeah, we have Carol here. And uh, this isn't one of the wealthy families in town, so they don't have a burglar alarm anymore. I removed it. <laughs> So yeah, she's broken in and um, Jihoon has only just gone to bed. So um, I actually think that he is still awake and he might actually hear that there's someone downstairs. So I'm going to give him a chance to wake up again or well to get out of bed and uh, see if he can um, call the police. Oh, I think she might be going out to the car. Yeah, yeah, she's going for the car. She's gonna take something more. Do we have time to call the police? Yeah, looks like it. Are you out of bed yet? Oh, you're both getting out. Okay, I think they might have been cuddling. That takes longer than to get out of bed. But they're definitely both awake now. So um, let's call emergency. Police station. Whispering. Oh, okay. So we have <laughs> Alicia Turner. Oh, and she's going for the TV. Wonderful. Do we have the police here yet? Or yes, Alicia is arriving. So I think. Let's see. Yes. Okay. <laughs> God, this is so tense. Okay, let's see what happens. Oh, she caught the burglar. Oh my God. So, well, I mean, that means that we're going to have two burglars at the police station. That's, uh, that's okay. <laughs> sure. Um, I'm going to have to write that down in my notes. 
<laughs> so they're gonna be uh yeah two burglars in the cells very very interesting right so hopefully they they get some money back then because they really can't afford this oh okay so <laughs> they didn't get very much money back they got 2900 Hmm. I mean, the car was a lot more that I uh, I think it was like five thousand or something, uh, and the TV, yeah, only the TV three thousand five hundred. So I mean, this this was um, not good for them. Um, so let's buy them back. They could get another TV that's cheaper, I guess. They don't really have to have this one. I mean, I could get them something like this. It's cutting into the curtains a bit. I think maybe let's go with this and put in a uh, low coffee table of some kind. You know what? Actually, I think I'm just going to get them back. Everything. Uh, exactly as it was when... Why can't I sell this? Oh no. Because, um, I mean, really, the police officer took the burglar and she didn't have time to do anything with stuff. Right? So, yeah, they should just get the stuff back, I think. Doesn't really make sense otherwise to me. So uh, let's just um, I make one catching, then they can get the car back. And then I'm going to have to... Um, do that, and then they can get the TV back as well. That makes a lot more sense to me. And then um, Ivy can get this car back. Yeah. Because it would have been one thing if the burglar left, right? But now she was just caught by the cop. <laughs> oh, well. Um, Hazel is uh, still in bed, actually. So she didn't wake up, but... Uh, Ivy is up and about, so just let's just drop her back into bed. And uh, same with Ji Hoon. Oh, yeah, and Hazel woke up and <laughs> realized that there had been a burglary. Uh, but yeah, you can uh, you can go back to bed. All right, and that was it for real. <laughs> See you next time. Bye.